$66.5 million. That is what NWTC is asking for their latest referendum. School leaders say the money would fix an overcrowding problem that's keeping students from quickly learning technical job skills that are in high demand. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live at 6 with that story. Stacey, it's been 14 years since NWTC last asked for a referendum. But since that time, enrollment has grown and technology has changed immensely. Now school leaders say they need more money to keep up. These are pageant panels that are very, very expensive to replace. Chris Madsen is in charge of public safety at NWTC. His department is one of the many relying on the referendum to go through. You can only repair this so often. The burn tower used by firefighters for training in several counties burned out, and that's not the only thing that needs updating at the school. Our capacity is pretty well maxed out at this point. Machine classes overpopulated as jobs in that field continue to open up. And just down the hall in the computer lab? When we went through referendum the last time, the programs that we have in place today were not here. Students on almost every computer taking IT courses, but many sit on wait lists unable to get into classes because of space. So now the college is asking taxpayers to pay a little extra to support the school's expansion. For a modest $7.50 for owners of $150,000 home. Leaders at the Tech College say they've already conducted studies showing community support for their plan and hope that holds true for Election Day. Voting on the referendum begins one week from today on April 7th. Raquel Lamel, NBC 26. A bill regulating